Good morning. As Jesus said in John 17, 3, if we know God and we know Jesus Christ, it means eternal life. So how do we get to know God? Romans 1, 20, well, 19 and 20, what man can know about God is clear for them to see, for God made it clear to them. Ever since the world was created, the invisible nature of God his eternal power and deity are clear for the mind to see through the things which God has made. So if you can walk through a park and look at trees, grass, flowers, and I have a few here for you. The incredible variety and that God has given us in creation demonstrates his enormous love for us and it's a good quality for us to follow. Now, to increase our faith, we need to read the scriptures, of course, because that's the other way of getting to know God. The books of Luke and John. Luke follows Jesus' life in logical order. John concentrates on Jesus' last words. His words which were to help us to love each other and to prepare ourselves for the tests ahead. So let's just go back to building our faith for a moment. And last time, I, I, some of you found my science a little bit baffling. So I'm going to make it easy this time. 65 million years ago, there were plenty of trees on this planet. And one of them was the Dawn Redwood. And we know that because of the fossils. So if we fast forward 65 million years, what changes have been made in the Dawn Redwood? What has it evolved into? Well, I'm going to show you. Here it is. <laughs> Here's the Dawn Redwood. I'm sure that if you look online, you'll find pictures of these trees. In 65 million years, they haven't changed at all. How do we know? Because these fall off, they're deciduous, and they became fossils 65 million years ago. Now, it's my belief that each tree family was created directly by God. The reason being that their genome, their DNA, is very different from each other. And we've learnt last week that it's impossible to change the DNA in the length of time that this planet has been in existence. So keep your faith strong. Evolution is impossible, which leaves us with a creator. Now, as you're walking in the park, remember that Adam was put in a park and told to look after it. Now, we haven't looked after this planet We've ruined it with violence, with immorality, and now with pollution. But if we're praying for God's will to be done on earth, which we are, then that is going to change. And we're going to have to then look after this planet, which we will do willingly. As it says in Isaiah, that the desert will blossom as the rose. Can you imagine the wonderful job somebody is going to have of turning the Sahara into a park. I don't know if we're up to that, but we'll, we could, with God's help, we can do it. So what I'm trying to say is keep our faith alive and keep our hope alive, because after what Watchtower has done to us, we are ill. I am very ill, which is why I'm going probably not going to do videos for a couple of weeks. I've got a few things to do, I'm not very well, and I'm not sure if it's going to work out or not. If it does, I'll let you know, but I've got some serious things I want to consider. But in the meantime, as I said, please take a walk in a park or even look at one online and keep your faith strong by reading the scriptures because that way you can follow the voice of the shepherd, Jesus Christ. You will know a false shepherd if you compare it to the words of Jesus Christ. 
So take care, everybody. My prayers are with you, and I hope that I'll be back sometime. But in the meantime, take care, and thank you for watching.